What up guys, Digital Next, and in today's epic video, we're gonna be opening up 100 chocolate bars of Mr. Beast new chocolate. That's right, we got the Mr. Beast bar. We didn't just buy one box, we bought two. We didn't just buy two, we bought three because that's all we were allowed to buy anymore and we were cheating, all right? Everyone has to have a fair shot. Now, if you don't know what's happening right now, Mr. Beast is holding another contest. The, the mad lad did it again. He bought himself a chocolate factory, turned himself into Willy Wonka, and now he's put in a golden ticket. That's right, there is a golden ticket inside one of these chocolate bars. There are 10 golden tickets. I'm gonna win one of them. I bought three boxes, it was like over $100 of chocolate, that's a lot. I'm gonna sit here and open every single bar on camera so you can see the excitement I see when I get that golden ticket. Here's bar number, okay, listen, this isn't the first bar. I had like three chocolate bars earlier this week. I couldn't help myself, so uh, let's, let's put a number one counter on this one. Is there a golden ticket? I don't know. It's not on the back. Is it on the front? No, it's not a winner. This is the, uh, it also has three flavors. They got original chocolate. They have original chocolate, almond, and quinoa crunch. I don't know quinoa is but chocolate bar number one let's do this i never said i was going to eat these things on camera that's a lot of chocolate i i'd be done by the end of the video i wouldn't even make it halfway through the video i just i would just cease to exist i, I simply just wouldn't be here bar number two all right also i'm not gonna waste chocolate all right what am i an animal put these bad boys in here yeah i know that one has a bite who cares you think the homeless person i'm giving this chocolate to is gonna care that there's a bite in there no it's like opening pokemon pokemon it's like opening pokemon cards you know you're looking for that rare charizard and then you spend three million dollars on pokemon cards and you don't get it uh i'm using scissors because opening these are a pain this one just came broken that's cool mr beast Broken chocolate bar. Not sus at all, you know? If you get one of the golden tickets, he will fly you down and uh, you have a chance to win the chocolate factory. Let's just say you're not old enough to own a chocolate factory or you don't want to own a chocolate factory. I mean, why wouldn't you? He will buy the chocolate factory off of you for half a mil and I'd be like, no, 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 no. 10 mil and you got yourself a deal. They call you Mr. Beast. I'm about to be Mr. Flushed with cash. You can win prizes. Sometimes there's stickers on the back of it. This one doesn't have a sticker, which is very weird. But you can win prizes. You can win a, a custom Miss. Oh, see, there's a sticker. See, I gotta make sure to take these off. All right. I did it to the other ones, and uh, I was curious. You know, like I said, it's like opening Pokemon cards. You don't, you don't know what you're gonna get. Except me, I'm gonna get diabetes from eating all this chocolate. Oh, the chocolate's hitting me. Not gonna lie, this ain't a chocolate review, but they're pretty good. I keep getting bamboozled because I, I think I see a gold reflection on the, the foil. I'm like, oh my God, it's there. Yeah, sit here, peel the sticker off. And there's a code on the back. I want that gaming computer. No golden boy. That might be a lot faster just to dump them in there. My mom was right. I'm never gonna win that chocolate factory. She told me this when I was like 10. She's like, son, there will be a day when Mr. Beast gives away a chocolate factory and you're not gonna win it. She said, I know in my heart you won't. Look at all this chocolate. Oh, chef's kiss. I don't even know what bar I'm on. Uh, digital lost count. And it's not my video editor's job to keep count. I'm not, you know what? I don't even care about the little tickets in the back. That's too much work. You ever get tired opening chocolate bars? Cause I do. Come with me and you'll see just how fast I can get diabetes. Take a look and you'll see that I'm super funny. We're almost done with the first box. We're almost done. Get out of here. We don't need any more. Every time I blink, that's a penny that goes to my editor. Man, Tex is like, bump it up. I need more than a penny. Joke's on you, I ain't gonna blink the rest of the video. There's not a golden bar in there. I don't even know what I would do if I won. Would I just give this to someone else? Am I that type of person? Do I just do the good thing? Do I do the main anime protagonist thing and give the golden ticket to someone else? Do I give it to that little blonde kid who lives with his family in a single bedroom and they all share a bed and he doesn't have a heater but they somehow have a TV, a really nice TV that's very expensive and you don't understand how that works? No. My chocolate bag. You know, I brought multiple bags because I was like, huh, I'm gonna, you know, 
be cool and uh, look at look at all this chocolate. This isn't an ad for Mr. Beast. This is some decent chocolate. Now, if I saw this in a Hershey bar next to each other, would I pick the Mr. Beast bar? I I'd pick the Hurt. I'd pick. I'd pick the Mr. Beast bar. You ever have a feeling that you're gonna win? Cause I don't have that feeling. I have a feeling that I just wasted a hundred dollars on chocolate and uh, that's okay, you know? Do it for the YouTube vid. How do you think Mr. Beast gets his ideas? I think he just watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one day and was like, oh my God, I can do that. I can do that. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Who I wake up to every morning? I wake up to myself. I'm Mr. Beast. You wanna change someone's life today? You bet I will, but I ain't. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love chocolate as much as the next Spongebob fish, you know? Or that skeleton thing that was in Spongebob. Chocolate, you're se they're selling what? Look at this. I want you to look inside the abyss, all right? Look at all that chocolate. Yeah, look at, mm, can you smell that smell of vision You ever just wanted to punch a bunch of chocolate? It broke. Listen to it break, ready? Here's some ASMR for you. Woo, that was a good crunch. Digital, eat a chocolate bar, you coward. There's no golden ticket in there. Just my dreams and hopes. Empty, like me, an empty shell of a YouTuber. Guys, tell Digital that he's okay. Ask him where Sniper Wolf is. That'll make him feel better. <laughs> Ask him to feel better. He loves that. Box number two, get it out of here. We have these ones left, all right? We have these many chocolates left. Would you like to buy one? I'm trying, it's like Pokemon cards. You gotta, you gotta weigh them and the one that feels heavier is the one with the golden ticket. I don't know, I got a bad feeling about these ones. Let me, let me do a quick, quick review. Look, it says share. Can you read the chocolate? Well, it says share and then it says devour. So we're gonna bite the devour side. I'm gonna do a taste review. Oh my God, do you know what that tastes like? It tastes like chocolate. Who would have guessed? Mantax, you want a chocolate factory? What would you, Mantax, what would you do if you want a chocolate factory? I don't know what your response was, but I bet it was a cool response. See, now if he did chocolate chip cookies, I'd be more inclined to eat them. I love chocolate chip cookies. You know, my wife calls me the cookie monster, but without cookies, I'm just a monster. This is the last box, all right? Mantex, do one of those cool little tracking shots. Ready? Let's try it again. Yeah, awesome. Ready? If I was anyone in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I would be that kid who gets stuck in the, the pipe for trying to drink out of the chocolate river. Oh, daddy, the chocolate is delicious. Do you smell the chocolate, daddy? Look at Do you hear that? Ah, my teeth! Throw that bad boy back in there. No one will ever notice. It's a part of the design. I think this bag getting a little, a little full. We're gonna have to make everything fit. Hold on. Ready? Another ASMR. Gotta, you know, beat it down. Ugh. I think we can fit more chocolate in there now. Not gonna lie, it's hot. A lot of you asked where my beanie was last time. It was off. It's hot. I got a haircut looking me. Who knew opening chocolate could be such hard work? I'm gonna try to speed things up here. We're going for two at a time. This is unheard of in the chocolate bar opening world. You never open two chocolate bars at a time because it never works out. Look it. I. I messed up a bar. I gotta cut it open from the other side. I failed. How many movies do you know that involve chocolate? Like that are solely about chocolate besides Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I have two chocolate bars left, two chances. Part of the cards being one of these. Here we go. Don't let my dreams be memes. There's nothing in here. We have one more chocolate bar left. We have one shot. I can't miss my chance to blow. Opportunity for Mr. Beast only comes once in a lifetime. 
it. No golden ticket, folks. We don't get to live out our Willy Wonka fantasies ever since we, you know, heard about this contest. But it's okay, because you can try too. Like I said, this isn't a sponsored video, but if you want a chance to try to win a chocolate factory, some cool prize, you should definitely, I mean, the chocolate's not bad. Just go for it. But okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Hey guys.